Hello, I am Deadslot142 and welcome to the video, welcome to this video. Uh, this is a, a video where I'm going to be showing off 10 of my Carp Robot Wars, there's one Battle Robots Carp replica and 9 Robot Wars ones in this video today. There will be many, uh, there's going to be many more to show off, but not in this video, I'm just going to do 10 in this video and probably 10 in another video. There's a lot to go through. Not just them robots, but I've got robots that I've made up and stuff that I've just got hundreds and hundreds of these things because I just I just love making them. But anyway, let's get on with it. First, first robot we have up today. This is Project Two XM. This is a robot that was in the Dutch series of Robot Wars. Um, if people, if anyone's watched it, it was a robot from Belgium. Got a nice power flip. I mean, although it was terrible in the um, Dutch series, I bought this one because it. I used to watch this series called Reset Reset Assesses Replicas Wars or something, and he and I saw this one. It was quite a powerful flipper, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. Go with this one, and I enjoyed it. Can, I've also got a little device at back where you can flip it. Yeah, he's a good robot. Uh, yeah, enjoyed building that one. Next up we have Megahertz LT, which is Megahertz laptop, not limited. It's got that little, it's got a flip at the front, little keyboard, keyboard or destruction. And it's got his little face to palm the heads out of everyone. He's got his um, little design at the bottom. Yeah, um, these type of designs I used to really like, even though they were, weren't very good robots. Even though it didn't do too bad in Series 6, even though it got beat by Exterminator a bit. It was not a bad run, I think, I mean, I thought it was an odd carry in, but then again, but that's Robot Wars, but yeah, I, did, I didn't mind that ro the robot itself, although I didn't build the um, three spikes of the sides and stuff, but maybe one day I might do it, but not for now. Uh, next up we have Mousetrap, a robot a lot of Robot Wars fans will remember from... Series four and five with, with its bit with its guillotine blade in the the guillotine blade wasn't added until series five I believe, yeah. It was it was quite an it was quite a good a cool design really. I mean I like the fact you could trap robots in in its thing and um in its weapon. I mean I wanted to build this one for quite a long time but this is a recent new build I've built. Um I built this one last night to be honest. It was quite a, had a lot of fun building it. Used a little crafting knife to cut down it in the, in the middle and stuff, but yeah, it's a mousetrap was a cool robot. Well, although it did get his head caved in by S3, well, that, but, but to fair, S3 was a decent robot. I loved S3, it's a great machine. Really wish we could have got a toy with that one, but never mind. Um, S3, I mean, not mousetrap. Um, Next up we have Bulldog Breed. This is a version of Bulldog Breed. I think this is, well, this is the Series 6, 7 and Extreme one. But this was my favourite version of Bulldog Breed, to be honest. Best version I thought of the robot. I mean, the, I did build one before, but it was crap. So I'm never going to show that one off. It was just awful. But this one's a lot better. It's got its little Union Jack design. It's got its little doggy. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, whatever it is. Not a good, not, not very good dog breeds, but uh, yeah, it's a good. I like, I love, enjoy building it. This is actually this one's also a recent build I built. It's kind of a new one, built this year. I, and yeah, I really enjoy building this one. Yeah, there'll be many more to come this year probably. I, I do love building my robots. Next up we have Electric Lunch. Uh, now this is a robot from BattleBots. This is a robot that competed in the Classic series, not in the uh, Reboot series, but um, I think it did well. I mean, I can't remember what it did, but um, um, I can't remember which one. I think it was, I think it was in Z... Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember what series it competed, but it competed in but completing the classic series of BattleBots, so you should remember this one. So yeah, 
It's a good design. I enjoy both. It's quite good to ram robots around the arena for this one, to be honest. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's one of those a decent build. Next up, we have another robot from the Dutch series of Robot Wars. This is Pyramid of Chaos. A lot of, um, if you watch the Dutch series, I think this one competed in series one, I'm not sure, or maybe season two, but. Uh, it's a robot. It wasn't that good, but I like the design, I like the pyramid shaped design. It had a sword at the front, sort of weapon thing. I think it was a sword. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it was a decent. Um, although it don't do well, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind this robot. Next up, we have Spawn again. Spawn again is a another classic robot wars robot with. Speed power, but I mean, I did like Spawn again, but although it didn't do too well on Series Six, uh, those Series Six and Extreme versions were boring, boring versions of the robot. You know, I mean, Series Five was all right. I mean, it got God One through Patty Reed, but that's probably about it for the robot for me. But I'm gonna get, I get his head caved in by um, Razor. But I mean, it was a decent robot. I mean, I, I like. I mean, they. I did love the um, Devil Robot Spawn Scutter and um, Scutter's Revenge, but I know there were two decent robots. Maybe one day I might build a replica of those two. No, no, no. Might do in the future then. A lot of cardboard replicas and stuff I plan to build in the future. Here's, here's uh, third and last. Uh, this is a uh, Robok. A lot of Robot War fans will remember Robok because it won the foot. It was the very first robot to, very, to win Robot Wars. I like Robot. Um, it was a cool design and um, yeah, I like, it's got these little disco back, the batteries over the years. This is a, this is actually also my second attempt at building Robot. I mean, the one wasn't bad, but it just got a bit old and just got a bit tattered, so I just thought build a new one. These are basic. These are cardboard, but basic paper bases. The cardboard you can buy from the range of building robots out of. Oh, I have fun building, I just have fun building them. Just something I do every day, oh, I don't do it every day, but I do it when I can. There's a lot of uh, wacky robots, I, uh, like I said, I've got plans, I might even build Granny's Revenge one day, you never know. I do have Purple Predator. Um, this is a, uh, next one we have Atomic. This is a robot, sort of, well, uh, well, this is one of sort of my favourite robots. I mean, I thought I enjoyed watching it in series um, uh, seven, in the seven wars. It was a good robot. It got some robots out of the arena. I didn't mind the series five one either, but I think the series seven one was my favourite version of it. And the uh, main series four one wasn't that good. But it's flipper broken off one in the second fight. But it was, it wasn't a bad robot. I don't think. I mean. Yeah, I wonder where the original the original one is nowadays. I wonder if it's still around. Yeah, yeah, this is another one I actually have fun building. I've used um, colouring pencils instead of felt tips, which I usually do for all my robots mainly. But uh, yeah, it was a fun one to build. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, there's plenty of. I I don't know. I keep repeating myself, but there are plenty of robots I plan to build, and. Finally, but not least, this is Fatboy Tin. Uh, robot, a lot of robots are fans are remember from Series Four. He, he is a he's a big boy. He, although I've got the little snail, it's quite. I still find it quite funny how a snail made its way to Robot Wars. It's quite funny, but yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it was a decent robot. I liked um, Fatboy. Uh, well, oh, there was a crap robot, but you know, I mean, it was a good design. I mean, I don't just like the robots sort of winning. I like the designs of all, like, all of them. Just think, I just like the hard work and love the teams put into the robots. To be honest, I think it's, I think I just think, I think it's nice to, something to look at. You know, it's not going to do well, obviously. But yeah, no, I've, I've tried to build loads of robots in the past. To be honest, I've tried to build Pitbull. I, I did build it, but it was crap. I threw it away and um, built. Um, tried to build Banshee as well. Might try to rebuild him again, but never know. Might rebuild him again. I mean, that was quite a, quite a funny design, to be honest. 
the ideal for a Halloween decoration, wouldn't it, Banshee? Yeah, uh, so that's it then. That's all the that is all the robots for today. That's um that's the first lot of robots. There'll probably be more soon. Um in the future, yeah. I mean I mean they're just fun to build. I just I just always enjoyed building them. It was just it was just um, um, just have fun in an arena with them and it's just um Sorry if I'm stuttering, I'm just nervous, but um, yeah, I just enjoy building cardboard replicas of robots from Robot Wars, building my own versions. Well, no, I'd imagine myself competing with which I probably never compete in Robot Wars because I don't know anything about mechanics or anything, but yeah, but it's just something I just enjoy doing. Whereas I've done all as well, do I think? Just think the robot wars is just, and battle box or something I have close to me. Oh, maybe you might be on some Kingdom Box ones. I don't have any of them yet. I've maybe attempt to spec to one day. You never know. Could be. I like a good challenge every now and again. I mean, that's why I did Fat Boy Tin. I mean, that's why I tried to do Banshee, but that went off. Actually, I still have the original Banshee I tried to build, but it's just shite. Just to be honest with you. I might show it, might not. If you want me to show it, I will. So yeah, but anyway, well, thank you for watching this first video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see notifications, press the bell icon. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, tell me what you think about the thought about my first video um, in the comments section down below. I'd love to see what you think of it. And I'd like to see, see robots that you've built in the past as well, because... I do enjoy looking at these sort of things. It's quite interesting. I mean, I don't just base them off robots. Are basing them around everything. I mean, I'll show, actually, I'll show you one robot that I've built through. Well, this is a Stags Two, which I have a lot of sequels. Unfortunately, this is based on a my favourite football club, Mansfield Town Football Club. Which, um, if you don't know. Which means they're playing League 2, which is sort of the 4th division, which is the 4th level for English football. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've got the stag's head and tried to build a stag's head. Um, they're probably building the antlers on it, unfortunately, because I'm starting to be lazy. But maybe one day I'll build the um, antlers. But yeah, it's just something I enjoy doing. I'll probably be showing, I'll probably show that one off again, but... I've got, I've just got hundreds and hundreds of these bloody things, but anyway, yeah, like I said, like and subscribe, and follow me on social media, and that's all I have to say, and I hope you all have a nice day, and farewell.